Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond the Science. One thing I hate almost more than anything on this planet is mosquitoes. And it's common knowledge that mosquitoes, they don't really need to suck out all your blood to be able to kill you. All it really takes is one seemingly harmless bite from a disease-carrying spawn of Satan for you to suffer from debilitating symptoms that can turn deadly in a matter of days. And of course, across the globe, tens of thousands of people die every single year due to the complications caused by a mosquito bite. For example, dengue fever has claim the lives of over 20,000 people every single year. There's also malaria, which though is almost completely eradicated in the US, has continued to be a serious threat in places like Africa and many other countries. And if you're unlucky, you may also be bitten by a mosquito carrying, I don't know, the West Nile virus or the yellow fever virus. Basically my point is these things are horrible and we should kill them all. But let me ask you guys, have you ever found yourself wondering, even for a little bit, because think about it, mosquitoes, what are they doing? They're, they're sucking your blood. So have you ever thought about how many mosquitoes it would take to suck out all your blood. Now, obviously we know it would take an insanely colossal number of mosquitoes to get the job done. However, if you're one of the more curious ones, you might be interested to know that entomologists are able to give you a more precise estimate. And not only that, experts also say that there is more to this hypothetical scenario than just counting insects. Because the average human has 5.5 liters of blood coursing through his or her veins. Now, from an insect's perspective, that's 5.5 million million microliters of red liquid that's readily available for the taking. As for how much blood a single mosquito can consume in a bite, the answer depends on, well, what kind of mosquito is it? So far, over 3,500 species of mosquitoes have been recorded. Some, of course, are much bigger than others, and they all differ in terms of their overall dispositions. But experts say, on average, it would take between 1.1 and 1.2 million mosquitoes, with each one getting to bite or suck once to fully drain a human of all its blood. Entomologist Zach Edelman at Virginia Tech used the Asian tiger mosquito, one of the more aggressive insect species that's common in North America, as a more specific example of just how much blood can be consumed by a single mosquito. He told the Tech Insider that the female counterparts of this particular species will ordinarily drink around 5 microliters of blood in a single meal. So factor in the 5.5 million microliters of blood inside the human body, it will take a massive swarm of Asian tiger tiger mosquitoes composed of 1.1 million insects to finish the job. However, experts have noted that in the extremely, extremely rare events that a million mosquitoes do successfully bite you simultaneously, you probably won't even get to live to see them drain half your blood supply. Because once they drain you of 20% of your blood, your body goes into hypovolemic shock due to massive blood loss. With your heart unable to circulate enough blood throughout the body, all your major organs will fail, and without immediate medical attention, it is unlikely you survive from those ordeal. Of of course, we're just talking about all this hypothetically, but is it possible in real life scenario for a swarm of mosquitoes to kill you by drinking your blood? Well, the answer is, it's very unlikely. I mean, unless you anger a sleeping mosquito god or are cursed by a tomb or something, you're not gonna run into a million mosquitoes sucking your blood. But a team of researchers in the Canadian Arctic, however, went out of their way to let their arms, legs, and torsos be bitten by a lot of mosquitoes. Their experiment determined that a swarm of newly hatched insects can attack with as many as 9,000 bites per minute. And if for some reason one is determined to keep it being bitten, and if these mosquitoes continue to do so for the next two hours, that person could in fact lose half their blood supply. But then again, he or she most likely would have already been dead after the first hour. Also, it is important to note that mosquitoes are not the thirstiest among the world's blood-sucking creatures. To defend them a little, they, they really only feed when they have to, and they shut down intake once they receive the signal that they're full. While manipulations in the laboratory can make them drink blood until their own bodies explode, that typically don't happen in everyday life. But if there is a species of insects that may come close to draining the blood of a human being, it will be the black fly. According to entomologist Michael Rio of the University of Arizona, black flies consume about the same amount of blood as mosquitoes, and it is more likely that you will encounter a massive form of this species, as large rivers can produce millions of them per square meter. You know the worst thing about mosquitoes? The absolute worst thing about mosquitoes is right when you're 
about to go to sleep, you're laying there, you're about to drift into beautiful dreamland, and all of a sudden, yeah, you hear that buzz sound around your ear. And I don't know about you guys, but when that happens, I'm staying awake and I gotta kill that thing before I go to sleep. Because you know, if you fall asleep, you're gonna wake up covered in 20 bites. And although signs say that, yeah, mosquitoes don't really bite you after they become full, I don't quite believe that because I've been bitten by the same mosquito like 10 times. I mean, there's no way he's drinking my blood 10 times. That's like the Joey Chestnut of the mosquito world. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, there's another great channel for you to check out. It's called The Friendly Bring, and just click right here for one of their videos. I guarantee you it's ridiculously interesting. I'll also include the link for you guys in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.